Alright. So when you learned it, did it make a lot more sense? Yeah, I was like, shit. Um, well, <laughs> I, maybe I'll go over tomorrow with you guys what compensation <laughs> does what. So this is kind of like a, does, does everything in a sense, um, if it's done the right way. So, um, most important things that I learned are ground contact and eye position. So what you're always trying to do in everything, whether it's breathing or, um, lifting is producing force, right? So in order to produce force, you have to have contact in the right area so you can produce force up the chain, right? So the first thing I'm gonna have Ian do is slightly tilt his head back like he's getting CPR. That's gonna open up his airway, right? His eyes should follow, so he's not gonna open up and then go like that, right? Or open up and like look way far back, right? So eyes are the most important thing. The second thing is the ground contact through his feet, right? So if I wanna produce force, most people have their pressure on the outside of their feet overcorrection is going to be having them put pressure on the inside of the feet. So without having him do anything besides just feel his feet, I'm going to tell him to push his feet into the box, right? The higher the box is, the easier it is to produce force because you're taking away like gravity, right? So for example, let's say he got his feet position or his head position, but he couldn't feel his feet, couldn't feel his hamstrings, like couldn't pronate, I would just elevate the box. That would take away like how much IR he would need, right? Because if I stand, I need the most amount of IR so I don't fall over. If I elevate the ground, I need less IR so I, it's just easier for me to not fall over, right? So after I'm like, hey, push your feet into the box as hard as you can, it's, it's the tripod, so the, like kind of the heel, the ball of the foot, and then a little bit on the outside. Most people will push on the outside, over-exaggerate it by pushing in, like with my fingers through that ball. You feel your hand tricks. Right, so you'll feel your hamstrings and you're not pulling back, right? You're just pushing into the ground, right? The next point of contact after your foot with hook line breathing is your PSIS. Everybody know where their PSIS is? Where's their PSIS for those that don't know it? Yeah, so it's the top of your pelvis, right? So you should feel pressure into that too. But the difference is you're not pushing into the ground and tucking your hips. You're just feeling gravity push into the ground, allowing or feeling your pelvis Gravity, take your pelvis to push into the ground, right? So you notice he's not flexing, but he feels his feet, which fires hamstrings, and then he feels his PSIS, which puts his pelvis in a good position. Let's say you couldn't do one, you'd have to go backwards. It's like an onion. You can't get to the second layer unless you cut off the first layer. So if he, he couldn't, he could feel his feet, but he can't feel his pelvis, elevate his feet, right? That should put his pelvis in a better position to push your tilt him, right? PSIS versus lower back actually all being pressed over the ground. It'll, like it'll, I'm wide and like I'm a little extended, like my PSIS is down, but there's like a half an inch in between. I would probably have you move up then. So going. you do want like flat, like you don't want any natural without a curve at all? Correct. But you're not, you're trying to use those points of contact to create that tension. You said if we elevate a speed, it would require less IR? Yeah. So you're putting that deeper hip flexion, which would require more IR? Uh, different points of contact. It, I could elevate his feet. Yeah. Elevate his feet. And you still, so like if you move back, I put a box. Put, yeah. Put a pin on the plane of flexion. Thank you. It's also good. Push your, uh, like lift your whole foot up. Now put your foot on them. Same on hip flexion. And then if they don't have enough planar flexion, you just move your bum closer. Take tight flexion away. So like for me, you've seen me do this. I can show you how to do it after. I'm doing this for a video. So. Um, but yeah, so do you feel your hamstrings? Okay. Do you, is your PSIS on the ground? Do you feel your back at all? Like you're on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, move your butt a little bit closer. On the ground or off the ground? Yeah, it was off the ground. Yeah, off the ground. Does that make it easier? Okay, so again, just either moving up or elevating the feet, but el they do the same thing. All right. So once he, yeah, really try to, like, try to produce force into that box. And then as people start to shake, right? I would probably put something here, put something like squeeze my fingers, right? Because he's going to roll out otherwise. So as long as they're not like this, this is just going to help him feel the middle of his foot, right? So we'll go here, good. Now, big, big thing here is you'll notice that I help him create tension without having to having squeeze anything. He's pushing it. Right? I'm not saying squeeze your abs, I'm not saying squeeze your butt cheeks, I'm not saying squeeze your hamstrings, I'm saying push into the ground. So 
So his abs are jelly right now, which is the goal, right? So the goal is that jelly position. So squeeze my hands, good. Open up your head a little bit. Inhale through your nose, put your hands down. No tension, inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth, squeeze. And we know Ian has no IR, right? So this is very, very hard for him. So you can see if he starts to lose it, he's going to be to make it way easier for him to not have to produce nearly as much force. But when I'm exhaling, I'm not squeezing anything, I'm just trying to exhale, right? So, and then through time, gravity is going to allow his rib cage and his lower back to sit on the ground. So it'll be a little bit easier when we get to that point. Make sense? Yeah, so I just elevate your feet. Can you go? Let's go, Dan, I'll help you out. I was sitting in front of you, I didn't know you were 